Battle of the Sword Wielders. Here we go. Buster Blader will open up Duel 1, activating Emblem of Dragon Destroyer to add Buster Blader from deck to hand. Normal Summon Buster Whelp to search out a Destruction Sword card from deck to hand. That'll be blocked by Ash Blossom. Still has the other ability of it to tribute itself to Special Summon that Buster Blader that is searched out. Can equip that with the Dragon Buster in hand. So now neither player can summon monsters on the extra deck, but we'll go ahead and special summon that so onto the field so it can synchro summon into Buster Dragon, whose effect while he doesn't control a Buster Blader monster can special summon a Buster Blader from the grave. And we'll equip that with Wizard Buster, the destruction sword. So now we'll negate all opponents' effects that activate in the grave. That is huge because there are a lot of floating effects that Flame Swordsman uses. And on Flame Swordsman's standby phase, we'll activate Buster Dragon's ability to equip it with the Dragon Buster in the grave. So now it shuts off the extra deck as well. So Flame Swordsman will open up with Draw Your Swords and will normal summon Eternal Flame Swordsman, equipping it with a colorless flame from the deck and then a blue flame from the hand. So that puts two counters on Draw Your Swords. Sending it to the grave with two counters allows Flame Swordsman to draw two. So thanks to Buster Dragon turning Eternal into a Dragon Monster, Buster Blader jumps up to 3100. Eternal will have to attack into Buster, so Sword of Blue Flame can net it at a draw, sets one and ends. Didn't have a way to get around that field and those two locks. Buster Blader will attack the Eternal. And Flame Swordsman will respond by using Sword of the Colorless Flame to trade in the Eternal for Blacksmith. Can't use the Graveyard ability, but we'll use the Blacksmith to search out Green Flame. And Buster Blader will attack over the Blacksmith instead. Main Phase 2 will Special Summon the Dragon Buster to bring out... We'll link with the Buster Blader to bring out the Protector Whelp, sending Destruction Sword Memories from deck to grave and then we'll use destruction sword memories to try to bring out the fusion buster blader but that'll be blocked by call by the grave so an unorthodox use of call by the grave but it blocks off the fusion summon by banishing the buster blader that was in the grave buster blader will set one and end so this is huge because now that graveyard lock and the extra deck lock have been removed buster blader probably thought it was going to get a full on monster lock with the Dragon Destroyer, but instead Flame Swordsman was able to block it, uses Eternal Flame, equips it with Colorless Flame, sends it to the Grave to bring out Flame Swordsman, Eternal Flame's effect at the Graveyard activates, banishing itself to special summon another Flame Swordsman, equips one of them with Sword of the Green Flame, and those two will Synchro Summon into Master Flame Swordsman. So Sword of the Green Flame treated one of those Flame Swordsmen as a tuner, and Master on Summon can equip any number of Flame Equips from the grave or hand to it and that'll be red blue and green so on attack blue and green will activate green will special summon a flame swordsman monster from the deck and blue will net two draws damage step blue flame swordsman will use its ability to reduce its attack by 600 bumping master flame by 600 to 34 and that'll be enough to get over the buster dragon still in battle phase will activate the quick play spreading flame to special summon a banished flame swordsman monster that is eternal flame on summon will equip itself with colorless flame from the deck bumping its attack to 2800 and attacking over the protector whelp dealing 24. So things have changed real quick. Flame Buster Blader probably kicking itself for not just keeping that lock on board while it had it. Main phase two, special summons green flame swordsman. Since it controls a flame swordsman, monster becomes a level five, and that'll exceed summon with the eternal flame into blazing flame swordsman. Will detach a material to equip itself with the colorless flame sword from the grave. That'll bump its attack to 3,800 and bumping master flame to 4,900. Buster Blader, normal summon Psychic Buster. Use its ability to special summon the Buster Blader in hand and equip it to that Buster Blader. And well, its effect will now activate, revealing the opponent's hand that is an Ash Blossom, a Blacksmith, and a Spreading Flame. What is that last face down that Buster Blader has and can it help? No, it cannot, so it's just trying to stall out for some sort of answer, but it Probably won't be able to get to that next turn. Blazing Flame Swordsman attacks over Buster Blader, and the two blues and the master will attack for game. 
So huge swing in momentum as Buster Blader tried to go into Dragon's Destroyer, but when that was blocked off, those locks were removed and Blade Swordsman is able to take advantage, taking game one. Buster Blader will open up game two. Sets one in the back row and ends. Flame Swordsman, let's see if it can swarm the field with all those flames. Will Normal Summon Eternal Flame on Summon it can equip the Sword of the Colorless Flame from deck to it. We'll use its effect to try to trade in it for another Flame Swordsman that is blocked by Ash Blossom. Eternal Flame Swordsman still gets its graveyard effect, banishing itself when it hits the grave by effect to banish Flame to Special Summon Flame Swordsman from the extra deck. And since it is banished, can use Spreading Flame to bring it back out. And when it is summoned once again, we'll equip with the Flame equipped from the deck, and that'll be Sword of the Red Flame. And now those two level fives will exceed summon into Blazing Flame Swordsman. We'll detach a material to equip itself with Sword of the Colorless Flame from the Graveyard. And then we'll use Monster Reborn to bring out Eternal Flame once again. And we'll use Inspected this time equip it with Sword of the Green Flame. Special Summons Green Flame Swordsman from the hand. Since it controls the Flame Swordsman, Monster bumps up to level 5. And those two, since Green Flame Sword is treating the Eternal Flame as a tuner, can Synchro Summon into Master Flame Swordsman. On Summon will equip itself with the red and green that are in the grave. And Blazing Flame Swordsman will use its ability once again to detach the material and equip the Master Flame Swordsman with blue, with the blue sword from the deck. So that is 3,800, 4,300. The attack by Blazing Flame Swordsman is responded to with Dawn of the Destruction Sword to buy out sometimes special summoning Buster Blader from the hand. So Blazing destroys that and Master will attack. Sword of the Blue and Green Flames effect will activate Green Flame, will special summon Blue Flame Swordsman from the deck. And Sword of the Blue Flame will net two draws. Then damage set Blue Flame Swordsman's effect will activate, reducing its attack by 600, granting Master another 600. That is 4,900 in attack. Buster Blader draws, activates Mystical Space Typhoon, targeting the face down card. That is Flame Sword Parry, so good destruction right there. Dawn of the Destruction Sword's effect activates, sending Destruction Sword memories from deck to grave. Sets one and ends. That better be a prologue. Let's see what Flame Swordsman has. We'll go straight to battle. At the beginning of the battle step, Buster Blader will activate Prologue of the Destruction Swordsman. We'll send Buster Blader and the Dragon Buster from deck to grave. And on top of that, we'll chain Destruction Sword memories, banishing the Buster Blader and the Dragon Buster from the grave to special summon the Dragon Destroyer. And then Prologue will proceed to bring out Buster Dragon, turning all monsters on the field that they fund controls to dragons. The Master is unaffected by card effects at this time, thanks to being equipped with Sword of the Red Flame. Blazing's continuous effects are still live since Dragon Destroyer only prevents the opponent from active activating dragon effects. So Master stays at 4900, will attack the Buster Dragon. The Swords of Blue and Green will activate their effects. Green will special summon Blue Flame Swordsman, and Blue Sword will net two more draws. And we'll get over that Buster Dragon before ending the battle phase, since those effects are now live again. The two Blues will give up 600 attack each, bumping up Master to 6100. Main Phase 2 will see summon those two level 4 Flame Swordsmen into Blazing Flame Swordsmen. And so that brings up Master Flame Swords into whopping 7600. Sets one for the turn ends. Buster Blader uses Dawn of the Destruction Sword to send another Destruction Sword memories from deck to grave. Let's see what it can do. Staring down a 7600 Master Flame that is unaffected by effects, uses Cosmic Cyclone, paying down a thousand life points. Get rid of the Royal Decree, so that was big. Uses Destruction Sword memories to try and special summon Buster Blader. That'll be blocked by DD Crow, but that will be chained with Destruction Sword memories. So using that Buster Blader that was targeted by DD Crow as well as a Buster Dragon to bring out another copy of the Dragon Destroyer. Now Dawn of the Destruction Sword will turn that Eternal Flame Swordsman in the graveyard into a dragon, boosting the Dragon Destroyers up by a thousand attacks since there's a dragon in the opponent's graveyard. Dragon Destroyer will attack the Blazing Flame that is equipped with the Colorless Flame. Colorless Flame's effect will be used, trading in the Blazing for a Blacksmith from the deck. Now Blazing Flame's effect in the graveyard's effect, graveyard effect will activate, banishing itself to special summon a Flame Swordsman monster from the deck. Blacksmith's ability will also activate when it is summoned, can add a flame equip spell from a deck or grave to hand that is the colorless flame and blazing will bring out blue flame swordsman 
So now Dragon Destroyer will instead attack the other Blazing Flame Swordsman, dealing piercing damage. Blazing Flame Swordsman's effect will once again activate, banishing itself to bring out Green Flame Swordsman from the grave, from the deck. And the Dragon Destroyer, the other Dragon Destroyer will take out the Blacksmith, dealing some more piercing damage. But before the battle phase ends, Blue Flame Swordsman gives up 600 attack to boost Master Flame Swordsman, now sitting at 5200. So didn't have a way to attack over the Master Flame Swordsman, and on Flame Swordsman's turn, he uses Lava Golem to tribute both the Dragon Destroyers, puts Lava Golem in attack mode, will boost Master Flame Swordsman by 600 attack once again, bringing it up to 5800, and that is going to be enough to go for game.